This video will demonstrate the process of setting up a portable tank for a rural water supply operation. This process consists of seven steps. The first step in the process is to safely exit the apparatus. In step two, chalk the apparatus wheels. For step three, deploy the tarp in an appropriate location for the portable tank in water supply operation. In step four, set up the portable tank with the drain valve located to the low side, as this will aid in the draining process. In step five, check the gasket. Step six, attach the hard suction hose to the intake valve and tighten securely. For step seven, ensure that the low level strainer is properly positioned within the portable tank. This video will demonstrate a process for performing a forward lay utilizing large diameter hose. This water supply operation consists of 11 steps. In the first step, the operator will stop the apparatus just past the hydrant. For the second step, the driver operator exits the apparatus while maintaining three points of contact. When staffing allows, this function is performed by a firefighter. In step three, remove the hydrant bag and large diameter hose from the hose bed. For step four, wrap the large diameter hose around the hydrant two times. For step five, the apparatus will respond to the fire scene. In step six, the operator will set the parking brake and engage the pump. Step seven, chalk the wheels. Step eight, the operator will set the pump and charge the line.
In step 9, connect the supply hose to the intake valve. For step 10, walk to the hydrant, prep and charge the line. When staffing allows, this step is performed by a firefighter left at the hydrant during the initial deployment. In step 11, the operator will change over to the supply. This video will demonstrate the process for setting up the hydrant for a large diameter hose line operation. This operation consists of nine steps. The first step in the process is to unwrap the line from the hydrant. In step two, remove all necessary tools and adapters from the hydrant bag. Step three, tighten the two and a half inch hydrant caps. For step four, remove the steamer cap. In step five, flush and flow test the hydrant. Step six, connect the large diameter hose adapter. In step seven, connect the supply hose to the adapter. Step eight, remove the two and a half inch cap and connect the gate valve. Step nine, slowly and completely open the hydrant. This video will demonstrate the proper operation for shutting down the water supply in hydrant operation. This process consists of six steps. In step one, completely close the hydrant valve. For step two, Open the gate valve to relieve the pressure. Step 
Step 3. Remove the supply hose, adapters, and gate valves from the hydrant. Step 4. Replace the steamer cap. Step 5. Allow the hydrant barrel to fully drain. This can be checked by placing the palm of your hand over the discharge. If there is suction, the hydrant is still draining. Step 6. Replace the final cap only after the hydrant has completely drained. This video will demonstrate a process to perform a reverse lay utilizing small diameter hose. This water supply operation consists of eight steps. During the first three steps, the operator will engage the pump, chalk the wheels, and charge the line. Step four, the operator will remove the supply hose from the hose bed. When staffing allows, this can be performed by a firefighter and oftentimes is performed by the second in-engine company. In step five, connect a supply line to the intake valve. For steps 6 and 7, remove the hydrant bag and advance the hose line to the hydrant. In step 8, prep the hydrant and charge the line. This video will demonstrate a process for setting up the hydrant when utilizing small diameter hose. This operation consists of seven steps. The first step in the process is to remove a gate valve and hydrant wrench from the hydrant bag. In step two, tighten all caps, excluding a two and a half inch cap towards the fire scene. Step 3. Remove the untightened 2.5 inch cap. Step 4. Flush and flow test the hydrant. In step five, remove the opposite two and a half inch cap and install the gate valve. Step six, connect the supply hose directly to the hydrant.
Step seven, slowly and completely open the hydrant. This video will demonstrate the proper operation for shutting down the water supply and hydrant operation. This process consists of six steps. In step one, completely close the hydrant valve. For step two, open the gate valve to relieve the pressure. Step three, remove the gate valve and supply hose from the hydrant. In step four, replace one cap. Step five, allow the hydrant barrel to fully drain. This can be checked by placing the palm of your hand over the discharge. If there is suction, the hydrant is still draining. In step six, replace the final cap only after the hydrant has completely drained. This video will demonstrate a process for performing a two-engine company reverse lay, utilizing a large diameter hose and consists of seven steps. In step one, the supply engine stops adjacent to the attack engine. For the second step, the operator of the attack engine removes the supply line. Step three, the operator will secure the supply line around the front tire of the attack engine. Step four, signal to the supply engine to proceed. Be sure to position behind the advancing supply line. Step five, remove the supply line from around the tire. Step six, connect the supply line to the intake valve. Step seven, signal for the supply engine to charge the line.